praise the Lord, y'all. Amen. Just the idea we are trying to get this out to many people everywhere. And I, I, I thank God today for just allowing me to, to do what I'm doing on this keyboard or this harmonica or whatever. And I want you to know music is a great thing with God. Yeah. Amen. Music was in heaven, amen. They, uh, David came and he exercised music and played music so until the devil got out of a man called Saul. Hallelujah. God will bless you if you obey him. Yes, he will. And we're trying to obey God in every way, amen. amen. Because so many people need Jesus, amen. And this is why we do this, because I know you know it is time for everybody to sing praises unto Almighty God, Hallelujah. to do what God wants them to do. Oh, Amen. Yeah. It's time for us to wake up and do what God wants us to do. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. I, I bless the Lord today, and I, I just thank God for knowing that Jesus Christ is going to make a way for you. Amen. Because oh, yeah. he's making a way right now for you to watch us on this TV. And it's a TV that we're trying to do things that God say for us to do because oh, it's time to work the work that Jesus Christ has us to do while it's day. Oh, I want you to know I've been really, really busy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, really, really busy. Praise God. Uh, I'll tell you all that I'm doing, but oh, some of the things I want you to know can't be helped, such as the funeral yesterday. Oh, uh, my nephew uh, died. And, oh, and uh, I just thank God for, we were there uh, to oh, see him at the funeral, praise God. Thank He's you, 55 years old. Thank you, I say he was 55 years old. And, yes, and that's young, you know, it's kind of young. Amen. I know somebody's going a little earlier than that because some years ago I did a funeral. It was three caskets there at the same time. And one was 19 and one was uh, 20 and the other one was uh, 46. And I did all three funerals at the same day, amen. And uh, that was that was devastating there. But I'm saying this uh, to you that's watching right now. We want you to know that you should thank God for today. Yeah. Ha! Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Today is a day that the Lord has made, and He wants you to rejoice in this day. And let Him know how much you appreciate Him. Let Him know. You just thank him for what, letting you wake up this morning. Yes. It's a blessing when you wake up in the morning yes, and, and being able to do or go about your occupation. and It's just a real blessing. Amen. And everybody that is a somebody should give God praise and, and thank him and just thank him and magnify his name because he's great. He's, he's a wonderful God and, yes. and God loves you. Amen. He loves you. I tell you. God loves you. Praise the Lord. Yes, he does. He loves you. Amen. How you know he loves you? The word says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. His only begotten son. He gave his son for you and for me. Praise God. And whosoever believeth on him, hallelujah, shall not perish, but that they should have everlasting life. God wants you to have everlasting life. He wants you to receive it in Jesus' name. I tell you, it's time for you to receive everlasting life. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Don't let the enemy cheat you out of what God is going to do for you. God can do for you. God can do more than enough for you. Amen. Because when Jesus came down through 42 generations, he came all the way down to this earth just for you. Amen. And for me and for all of us that's here today. He came all the way down here, praise God, to hear your prayers, to answer your prayers. The prayers of a righteous man avail as much, the word says. But when you pray, amen, like the Bible says, then you're getting through to God. You're getting through to God. You might be a sinner. You might not know how to pray. Hallelujah. You might not know what to say. But let me tell you, by you watching us today, we're going to lead you into a sinner's prayer. We're going to lead you a way to get to God. 
There's a way God wants you to get to him. And the way you get to him is by confessing your sins. Let God know you are sorry for your sins. Let God know you sinned, but you, you're sorry for them. Amen. You don't want to sin against God. You don't want to sin against no one. You want to be forgiven for your sins. Hallelujah. I know somebody been wondering, how can I get forgiven? I've done so much. I've done this. I've done that. How can I get forgiven? Amen. I don't understand. How can I get forgiven? Let me tell you, God is an everlasting God, and he's a God of mercy. His mercy shall endure forever. I want you to know his mercy is going to endure forever. Don't never let the devil put it in your mind saying that you, you can't be forgiven or, or you don't know why and this, that, and the other. God know your purpose. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I said this this morning while I was in service. I said God saw you in your mother's womb. God knew that you would be there. Don't think this, don't think you just here because you want to be here. But God saw you. Amen. He saw you before you entered into your mother's womb. And God knew everything that you do. Amen. And was going to do. He knew you before you got here. Let me tell you, you ought to give God some praise. You ought to thank Jesus. You ought to thank God. God for just being here because God bless you to be here and God told me to tell you today amen it's time for you to know how to get to God amen how to get to God God wants you to know how to get to him and the way you get to him amen you got to confess your sins what sins amen the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you sin, God will forgive you, my friend. How many times he forgive you? Let me tell you, there's no limitation how many times God can forgive you. Are you listening to me today? I said, God will forgive you and forgive you over and over and over again. Because what happened here, let me tell you, the Lord gave me a mind on the scripture, what the, what the word says. Amen. The word. Hallelujah. How this man praised the name of our God. He prayed and he prayed. Amen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And and you know the Bible teaches us that God will forgive. Let me tell you. Jesus Christ will forgive you of every sin. Hallelujah. Over and over and over again. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. The Bible teaches us that. The Word of God lets us know. Yeah. Praise the name of God. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? I want you to know. Uh, uh, he, he, he wants to forgive you. The reason I'm talking like this because yeah. God wants to forgive you and he is going to forgive you. I put that out there today. He is going to forgive you today. He's going to forgive you for watching and listening to what I'm telling you right now. God wants you to be forgiven. Yeah. Well, how many times can you be forgiven? Amen. Somebody says... Maybe six or seven times. Or maybe, you know, a little more. But the Bible teaches us that God forgives you eternal. He gives you, forgives you forever. Why can you say that? Because when Jesus came all the way down through 42 generations, he came all the way down through the seat of Abraham. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me today? He came with you on his mind. Jesus had you on his mind, my friend. He had you on his mind. And Jesus Christ knew that he was going to forgive you. But you got to accept his forgiveness. You got to know it for yourself. You got to say, now let me repeat after me right now while I'm talking about this. You just repeat after me and you say this. Say this. Say it out your own mouth, wherever you are. Amen. You might be at home. You might be watching over the internet. You might be watching me. Amen. Uh, uh, anywhere. Oh, you can watch me on your phone now. Amen. You got a way you can watch me on the phone. Amen. And if you watch me on the phone, watch me by TV or however, I want you to repeat after me and say these words right now. Will you say these words? Will you say, Dear God, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to look on me and forgive me for all of my sins and save me and wash me 
with your blood in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am sorry that I sinned against you. But I want you to come into my heart right now and save me. Come into my heart and fix me so I will live right and I will please you and not myself. In the name of Jesus, thank God. Amen. Can you say amen out there in radio? <laughs> say amen. I want you to believe God because God has forgiven you. Come on now. If you prayed that prayer from your heart and meant what you were saying, God has forgiven you. Yes, he has. Now what you can do, start studying your word. You get your Bible. You study your word. You look on, you can you can get it, you can get it. There are a lot of ways you can get a Bible if you don't have one. And you can get the Bible on your phone too. Amen. Start studying your word. And let your word become a part of you. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Hallelujah. And you let the word work. Oh my God. Let the word be in you. And you live it. Live by the word, not by yourself. You can't live this by yourself, no way. Amen. I want you to notice, you can't live this life by yourself. You're going to have to have some help, my friend. You got to, I got to have help. We all have to have help. Our help comes from where? It comes from the Lord. That's when the Bible said, look to the hills from which comes your help, my help. My help comes from the Lord that made the heavens and made the earth. Our help comes from God. And that's what we got to continue to do. Pray every day. Don't just pray now and forget about praying. You got to continue to pray. Man ought to always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Pray, my friend. And when you get by yourself, you might be washing dishes. You might be washing clothes. You might be cooking. You might be driving your automobile. You might be on a bus. You might be on a plane. You might be wherever. But you've got to pray. If you pray like the Bible says pray, yes. God will answer your prayers. Yes. Amen. Yes. You don't got a breakthrough today. When you ask God to come into your life, we ask God to forgive you. God done did that. Yes. So all you got to do now is pray and seek yes. him and let him have his way in your life. And God is going to continue to bless you and bless you and bless you. And he's going to meet every need. He will supply you of your ever needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He's going to supply your needs. He's going to meet your needs. Yes. He's going to meet your needs. I don't care what you need. He can supply your needs, my friend. After you get born again, after Jesus Christ and forgave you of your sins, he's going to answer your prayers. I say he's going to answer your prayers. you got to believe this now. He's going to answer. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. I saw somebody then just praying. Amen. You're praying, you're praying, you're praying. Hallelujah. You got a daughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have a daughter. And she's not doing just what you want her to do. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? She's not doing just what you want her to do. And you want to see her saved. And you've been praying so much that, Lord, touch my daughter. Let her come in. Let her be like me. Praise God. Hallelujah. God answer that prayer. He's going to answer more. You keep praying for your daughter. My God, pray for your son. Yes, your son. You got to pray for your children. You were born again. You, you, you received Jesus. You pray for your son. Pray for your daughter. Know that God is going to answer your prayers. You got to believe God. He said, believe on me. As the scripture have said, out of your bed shall flow rivers of living water. If you want the water to flow, living water to flow, <laughs> do what the words say do. Do what the words say do. If you do what the words say do, out of your belly shall flow. Shall flow. Shall flow. Hallelujah. Rivers of living water. Pure water. Hallelujah. Water of life. 
water not don't have is not contaminated. Hallelujah. But living water. Jesus said, I will give unto you water. You won't have to thirst no more for. You don't have to thirst for this water anymore. If you do what God say do. Don't you want to do what the Lord say do? Yeah. Don't you want to be obedient to God? Yeah. If we be willing to obedient, God say you eat the good of this land. Yeah. Take back what the devil has stolen. Take it back. God will give it to you. Oh, my God. I can feel the power of God in this house. I can feel the power of God right here now. Take back what the devil has stole. Praise the name of God. He done stole so much from me. He done got so much from me. Hallelujah. He got things from you you didn't anticipate on getting. But don't worry about that. Keep your mind on the Lord. They that keep their mind stayed on the Lord, them will keep in perfect peace, the word says. If you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, you keep in perfect peace because he's going to answer your prayers. Your prayers are being answered right now. Yes. Hallelujah. Right now. Thank you, Lord. I bless the name of Jesus. I praise the name of my God. I love Jesus so much and I know you love him too. Let me tell you this one thing. You've got to obey God. you got to walk up right before the Lord. Hallelujah. I can feel the anointing of God in this house, y'all. I can feel the love of Jesus working right now. Hallelujah! God encamped angels around us. Hallelujah! The angels of God present itself with us right now in Jesus' name. The angels of God present himself with us right now. He does it for a reason. Hallelujah! Take the message from here back to heaven. Take the message back here from here back to heaven. Hallelujah! I thank God for his angels. Angels of God watching over us. Praise the name of God. I thank you for his angels today. Let me tell you this one thing. If you pray, God will dispatch angels around you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will do that. I want you to think about how many dangerous things you've already been through with. Come on now. Amen. How many dangerous things you've already been through with. Don't you know God had an angel there? Because God wanted to protect you. God wanted you to be here. Come on, go, y'all. Amen. Know that the angels of God will protect you. Bless the name of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I shared with a person. Last night I was at a meeting. And I shared this with a person. I said, when that man walked up on me with that gun, pointed at me and told me, give me all the money you got. Yes, sir. And I, I didn't have a $50. I got the $50 out of my billfold. Yes. And I began to raise it up. I say, this is all I got. Yes, sir. And he had that gun pointed right at me. I, 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 I'm telling y'all. I, I know you might be wondering why. Thank you, Jesus. But it was because of the love of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It was because the angel of God. Amen. I, I, I walked to that man to give him the $50 I had, you, Jesus. and I was smiling. I said, brother, it's all I have. You take it. You, and I smiled at that man. He had a gun, and I was smiling at him. Thank you, Jesus. But it was the power of God Hallelujah. that made me smile. Hallelujah. I could have been crying. I could have been trying to run away. I could have been doing a lot of stuff. Oh, but God had me looking at the man with the gun, smiling at him. And I went to get him $50 and the man bagged up from me with a big gun. Yes, sir. He started bagging up from me, bagging up from me. Oh, I said, sir, don't you want the money? He started bagging up from me more and more. Thank you. And I came out the booth and I said, don't you want the money? And that man took off and ran. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He ran, he ran. And as he ran, I, was, I couldn't tell what, where the man went. I came out looking for him. Man got away from me so fast. I'm telling you, God will protect you. And God has protected some of you. I can see it in my spirit. How God been watching over you in dangerous times when people was coming up against you. And people want to fight you and people want to do a lot of stuff against you. But God let his angels prevent things from happening to you. You ought to be able to see that tonight. You ought to be able to see that right now. Yes, I want you to tell God thank you wherever you are. 
you just appreciate what God, how, how God has kept you. Amen. You just appreciate that. Tell the Lord, thank you wherever you are. My God, just tell Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You give him praise and magnify his name. Let him know you love him so much. Let Jesus Christ know you love him. And he's going to bless you real good. He's going to bless you real, real, real good. Amen. Come on, tell God, thank you, praise the Lord. You know, uh, I blow a harmonica and I play on the keyboard a little bit and I play my guitar. And I do this because God put in my spirit to do it. I want you to know I do that because music is what God loves too. Amen. He loves music. And the angels in heaven right now praising God. Are you listening to me? The angels are in heaven right now at this moment praising the name of our Savior. Praising the name of God in heaven right now. God wants you to praise him, my friend. He wants you to worship him. Praise God. He wants you to let go and let him have his way with your life. That's when you're here. Why do you think you're here? You think you was born here just to be, you was born here because your mother, your dad, and your stuff. Yeah, it's not necessarily true. You came here because of God. You're here because of God. That's the reason you're here. I want you to know that. Amen. I'm here because my dad wants me. I'm here because my mom wants me. Amen. Not necessary. Hallelujah. You're here because God wanted you to be here. Thank you. And he wants you to be here so you can try him. The song said, have you tried Jesus? Amen. Right. Have you tried Jesus? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? He's all right. 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 Have you tried? Well, please, amen. I know y'all ready to get started. <laughs> Amen. But have you tried Jesus? Have you all tried Jesus? He'll work things out for you. In fact, he already done did it. Are you listening to me? He already has worked it out for you. Get this in your spirit. He already, he has done it already. My God, I can feel the power of God in this house. He's already done it. Amen. And I was sharing with these people yesterday. Amen. I don't want to tell you how long I've been preaching, but I've been preaching for years. Amen. I love the Lord, y'all. Amen. God kept me here so I can minister to you to let you know it's time for you to give your life to Jesus. That's all. You can give it to him. It ain't cutting out nothing. Sometimes folks think, if I get saved now, I can't have no more fun. If I can't get, get saved now, I can't do this, I can't do that. I just, I'm just, just like old dried up, what? Piece of meat. <laughs> Don't let the devil cheat you out of your joy. God got more for you if you get saved now than he had before you got saved. God gonna bless you more now. Haba, haba, haba. Meet it old Saba Yetoa. Be old time. Bless you, give me up. Praise the name of our God. Amen, amen. Sometimes I do that because some people watch me and they don't understand certain things. But the Spirit of God is real. The Spirit of God speaks sometimes in another language so they can get it. Amen. Yes, he does. He speaks so somebody else can get it. Are you listening to me today? Amen. I said the Holy Ghost will speak Amen. so somebody else can get it. Yes, they didn't get it at first. Hallelujah. But when God yes. speaks in another language, oh, he speaks in another language to somebody else oh, Jesus. so they can get it. Hallelujah. I pray and I trust God you. that you got what you, God just said through me just then, just oh, in a few minutes ago, but just right here. Oh, God does that. Oh, Amen. Jesus. I don't laugh at people. Somebody say, look at them folks out there just making up tongues and making up tongues. I don't make up no tongues. Amen. I don't make up tongues. I don't practice trying to speak in the tongues. I don't practice that. Amen. This is real. God spoke in tongues all night long, more or less, 
when I was 15 years old. Amen. Amen. Amen I started speaking in tongues, and I spoke in tongues all night long. Hallelujah. And the Lord prophesied through me the same night. He said, this town is going to be blessed. And I didn't know what God was talking about. But the town was blessed because God called me to minister that same night. Amen. Told me to preach, 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 preach the word. I started preaching to a man standing up at the door. And my subject was pray, pray, pray. And I'm telling you now, if you pray like the Bible said for you to pray, God is going to answer your prayers. He's going to answer your prayers. If it just do like the word of God says. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Clifton Davis, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching. The Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network. <laughs>